Hi, this is Hitoshi Masui. Uh, recently, uh, we've had some reports that a, a mouse has been present in our office space. And in fact, uh, we found some, um, some droppings lying around. And so there seems to clearly be a mouse. Um, so here, you can see some droppings on the radiator, for example. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you um, um, a way that you can actually make a, a very simple mouse trap. Basically what you need uh, is a, an aquarium or, or some sort of a bucket like this. I mean, this is a, one of those recycling pails. It's perfect for it. And you need a couple sheets of paper, just like this, some, some scrap paper. Uh, and then what we'll do is uh, we're going to cut the sheets of paper and place them on top of the bucket. Uh, and then we're going to tape them there. And I just want to get the width about right, so it's about a, about a centimeter over. Let's cut this strip down. Then I want to put uh, a couple of slits in here, um, just about midway. And this will serve as a, as a trap door that kind of falls through. Something like this. All right. Okay. It's fine. Picture to see it, sell some tape. on, nice and secure around the edges, because uh, the mouse will want to jump up, and once it's, once it's fallen into the, into the basket, into the bucket, it will want to jump up along the edges and try to get out, but if you put some uh, paper on the top like this, then it won't be able to do that. Just make sure that the, uh, the, the edges are securely taped, so that if the mouse were to hit the edge, it wouldn't come loose. Take the other sheet of paper, and you want to do exactly the same thing on the other side. You want to have it so that these uh, these flaps kind of overlap each other once you're finished. For the center part, um, you want to have these this overlap. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take a small piece of tape, just a very very small piece like this. Now this is going to have to break under the weight of the mouse. Finally, I'm just going to tape the two sheets of paper together, right here. And there it is. There's your mousetrap. Now, what then you want to do is you want to take uh, some food. I like peanuts because they're very, very smelly. Uh, the smellier they are, um, the better it will be. So peanuts are great as a, as a bait to kind of crush the peanuts. Peanut butter will do. They love peanut butter. Now, I want to put it right in the middle there so that if it steps in the middle, it'll fall through. A few raisins. I've got uh, sunflower seeds. They're also really good. And if you want, uh, even some Cheerios. I just love those. There, there's your trap. So the mouse comes running up on top of it and, and uh, starts eating the food, and then it will just fall through. So where do you want to put this? You want to set it up right near uh, either a table or something that the mouse can jump onto and then scurry over to get onto. So let's just do that. Put it right up against the radiator like this. That way the mouse can come running across here, can go for the food, and then uh, once the weight of the mouse is on, on that paper, it will break through, the mouse will fall into the bucket, and, uh, and it won't be able to come back out because it'll be jumping, it'll hit the paper around the edges, and then it'll, it'll just be pushed back in. So, that's how you make a, a quick mouse trap. Hello, here I am, releasing a little field mouse that we caught this morning. I don't know whether you can see the mouse in there right now. Let's open it up here. Um, ah, here it is. I don't know whether you can see it. But there's a cute little mouse right down there. Okay, so now we're going to release the mouse. Okay, so gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the top part here, and then I'm going to tilt the, uh, the bucket over. Okay, so there we've uh, ripped open the top part, and there's the cute little mouse right down in there. You can see it. And I'm just going to tilt the bucket and release the mouse. Here we go. Tilting it out. And there we are. And if it wants to go, it's free to leave.
to go. Okay, I think it needs a little coaxing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just scampered away. A little bit too fast for me. Alright, very nice. I'm going to leave a little bit of food out here for it, uh, just in case it, um, I just give it a little bit of a head start. <laughs>